Guys, check out how this journalist pedantically attempts to redefine the word violence in an attempt to justify people attacking police officers, destroying businesses and their livelihoods and lighting police cars on fire. You're not going to believe this. That there's a real blurring of the lines and in, in, in the use of the word violence is property destruction violence. Um, to some people, it certainly is. Um, but, uh, you know, th this idea that breaking windows or, or, or other acts of property destruction are the same as uh, actual violence against humans uh, is it, it, it's, it's kind of a dangerous and, and slippery concept. What's going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome back to another Bible verse study video. Now, today I'm doing something a little bit different because I saw this clip the other day from CNN and I wanted to actually illustrate to you guys how it is that the world is quickly falling into this depression of calling evil good and good evil. Now, specifically what we're talking about, guys, is from the book of Romans, chapter 13, verses 1 and 2. Check this out. Let everyone be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, whoever rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted, and those who do so will bring judgment upon themselves. Now, why do I mention this, guys? Because as you can see, it's clear that there are so many people, especially in the mainstream media, who are going out of their way to slowly try to socially make the public accept the fact that the only real violence and the only real problems are coming from the side of law enforcement, are coming from the side of the authority. The Bible is very clear about submitting ourselves to authority and not blindly submitting yourselves to authority to where you're breaking God's laws. But in the book of Peter, 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 13 and 14, it says this, Submit yourselves for the Lord's sake to every human authority, whether to the emperor as a supreme authority, or to governors who are sent by him to punish those who do wrong and to commend those who do right. So the fact that we're sitting here, guys, with an individual saying that there's people out there and he's trying to redefine the word violence to insinuate that when you destroy someone's livelihood, that when you're destroying someone's business, that it's not violence. And when he's trying to insinuate that the only violence that he sees is coming from police officers and government officials is very disturbing, guys. This is one of the main reasons why, as a man of Christ, I really try to avoid mainstream media so much because they are pushing so much of this progressive agenda and so much of this message that is so anti-biblical, guys. And if you guys are out there, brothers and sisters, as men and women of Christ, be extraordinarily careful the stuff that you are consuming. Having said that, guys, again, this is just one more thing that just goes to show that biblical scripture is true, prophecy is true, and it comes true more and more every single day. People have itchy ears. They just want to hear what they want to hear. And we have to be extraordinarily careful and continue to exhort to one another guys for a journalist to sit there and actively try to pedantically try to redefine what the word violence means so that he can try and justify the violence of people setting police cars on fire and destroying people's businesses and property and livelihood and and, and in some vain attempt to justify it is the very definition of calling evil good and we cannot stand for it guys as always guys be safe be good be blessed i'll see you when i see you take care of yourselves and remember tomorrow is not promised to anybody peace have a good one guys